Hello everyone, all set for NEET on May 5th? I know you must be having many questions in your head right now. Like how to revise the complete syllabus of physics, chemistry and bio in the remaining two months. How to complete all the topics and subtopics. How to take care of anxiety, right? Let me give you an example. We all have watched cricket matches, especially the nail-biting T20 finals. Now tell me which team has better chances of winning in such a situation? Obviously, the one which has good players, the players who are mentally and physically fit. But you know, there is one more very, very important thing and that is their planning for the death overs and you know death overs are the last overs of the match and during this time they have a small phrase which they use they call it run a ball so every ball they take runs we are exactly in the same situation we also have just two months remaining you have worked very hard and you are mentally and physically fit so now there is only one thing remaining and that is the planning. So in order to help you in that, we have launched a test series, a free test series. Yes, you heard me right. It is a free test series on our website. You can find the link in the description of this video. Let me give you some idea about this test series. It has chapter wise tests for physics, chemistry, and biology. Every test is going to have 45 questions. Once you submit, you will get the score, you will get the right answers for the incorrect ones. And after taking a test, suppose the result is not as per your expectation, what do you do? You read the chapter, go over the concepts and take the test again. Here comes the surprise. This time you are going to get new 45 questions. And this is possible because we have a huge question bank. That means every time you take a test, you are going to get new set of 45 questions. So I'm sure this is going to help you practice more and more. So this is one part. The second is the planning. So planning means we need a timetable. I have prepared a timetable for you. You will find the link of the timetable also in the description. You can take a printout of that timetable. And I have given tests on five days. Saturdays and Sundays is for your revision, going over the things and preparing for the next week. So you are set, you have a test series, you have a timetable. Many a times students, in spite of having the timetable, they skip a test, not intentionally, unintentionally because of some other things, we miss out on a test. So what do we need? We need a reminder. So what if I remind you? I will be reminding you every day on the test days at 8 o'clock in the morning for the tests which you should be taking on that particular day. Now what more do we need? So let us get started and win the match. All the best.